Join the DAC Pack today by clicking subscribe. And also, hit that bell. All right, guys, so today we're going to have to figure out what the neighbor's secret life is because he just moved to a new town and apparently he's an undercover cop. But is he corrupted? We're going to have to find that out. Let's go. What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're going back into Hello Neighbor, and I am excited. We're playing this crazy mod called Athena's Home. This mod is going to be intense because there is so much to it. There's so many people that have put work into this game that it's essentially like a Hello Neighbor like two or like a three. It's like it's its own Hello Neighbor. It's its own separate game. That's how good it is. But um, we're also going to be applying our own little story here along the way because you know that's how we do. You know, if you're new to Dak Blake, you know, this ch it's weird. I'm talking to myself in the third person. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I like to like mix things up and play games differently And so we're gonna be creating the story of this neighbor having like a secret life where he's like an undercover cop And you see as he goes around he becomes the best cop in town But as you know the neighbor is he becomes corrupted, you know He started uh, finding people out, you know finding them and going like freeze you're under arrest and, you, and they're like hold on What if I give you some money and he's like all right? I'm listening. So we're gonna be going through and basically our task is to see if he's corrupted We're gonna find evidence against against him So we're like our own little private investigator like going into his town pretending to be normal with our own secret identity to find out his Secret identity, you know, I played this back in 2018 with the video titled like the neighbor gets a new identity And so this has been like revamped to like a whole new degree apparently we got all these people working on this thing Iridescent, Batana, Troll Cam, we got Retro Discoid, DD, we got EJ Evers like there's so many people working on this thing MFG, oh my gosh, there's so many people and now I think it is time to actually start the game up This is the what oh my gosh. Is that the neighbor? Hey, um, hello? Oh my gosh, there's like cutscenes going on up there. I just saw the mannequin chase the neighbor. What? Neighbor, neighbor, there's a mannequin chasing you. Run, run. Okay, is he coming? <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go into this thing. I, oh my gosh, I am excited to see how this starts. All right, so we're starting off with a cutscene. We are driving into our new town. We are a, like an undercover private detective of ourselves. We are gonna figure out if the neighbor is corrupt. Um, we gotta come up with a secret name for ourselves. You know, see, instead of being Dak Blake, I'll be um, J J Jimmy McFinder. <laughs> That's so so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> you know what? I gotta stick by it, right? Hi, I'm Jimmy McFinder. And <laughs> I'm gonna make find out what you're doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so beautiful. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. This feels so good. This is like a real like game. See, normally I played mods where they're like, the lighting is kind of okay. You know, like the whole concept is like a whole, just like a house. That's it. It's like, that's the new thing is it's, it's a mod for a cool house. Now this feels like a full on game. All right, I got all my stuff. So, you know, Jimmy McFinder, you know, he does things, right? That's me, I, I got a big long box. <laughs> why, why do I have a big long box? I've never seen that. What do I got in here? Oh, I got a red key. I have like a little note here. Uh, can I read it? Nope, it's in like a different language. Okay. You see, maybe, uh, maybe Jimmy talks like this. Hey, I got myself an old TV in a very old car. Wouldn't I be annoying if I talked the whole video like this? <laughs> okay, I got I, you know, usually it's in the back. Of the, okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so we got our crowbar here. Let's go and open up our own house. I don't know why we've boarded up our own house. Maybe it's because we bought this kind of cheap. You know, we're just trying to live across the street from that guy. We're gonna figure out what he is. Okay, let's grab the key. Let's head on in. What do we got going on here? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, these cutscenes are intense. So we're just discovering our own kitchen, you know? This is where we're gonna be living for the next couple of months, trying to figure out some stuff, doing some detective work. Let's relax a little bit because we're gonna have to, right? Oh, yeah, you know what? I hear something. I hear something now across the street. You think? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, He's there's something going on here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. All right, we're sneaking up already. Oh, hey, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, he is locking that door up tight. Oh man, this gives me like the vibes of- <gasps> Oh jeez! Okay, yeah, yeah, it gives me the initial vibes of like Hello Neighbor, what it used to be. Like, the scariness of it. Oh man, and look at that. That is a pretty house. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so my name is Jimmy McFinder in this thing, and I feel like that's the dumbest name for an undercover agent. Hi, it's like, what's your name? I'm... I'm Mr. Detective! <laughs> like, no! Alright, so you know what? My name is just gonna be Bill... Uh... Greg. I was gonna say Bill Greg. <laughs> Bill Greg. That sounds like a nice, you know, I'm Bill Greg. I repair cars for a living, you know? I'm not a detective. I'm not a secret undercover private detective. You know what? I have to have like a dad voice, right? I, hey, I'm Bill Greg. I, um, I repair cars for a living, you know? Hi, I'm, I'm some nice guy. I just gotta go talk to him, right? Just gotta talk to him. Can't be suspicious. So I'm gonna walk over there. All right, look both ways before crossing the street. What is this? It's like a giant sewer grate. All right. Hey, what's up, neighbor? I just moved into this town. I gotta say, your house is looking mighty fine. Oh, you sitting down. Um, so my name's Bill Gregg, and- Oh, my name is Bill Gregg, and I just wanted to say that I, um, I- I would- I- why, what's the problem, man? I, um, okay. Jeez. Get away from my lawn. All right, well, it seems like the neighbor doesn't like the new guy in town, Bill Gregg. It seems like this neighbor is very suspicious. Likely because he's a corrupt cop, right? All right, the first thing we got to do is snoop through here. What has he got? What is this? I've never seen that before. All right, is there anything incriminatory in his trash cans? Oh, I'm just knocking everything over. I hope he doesn't hear me. <laughs> just like going through his trash. He just walks outside. We're just like, <laughs> oh, um, this is not what it looks like. We are an undercover cop and we do have to kind of do our job. So I'm going to try to, you know, just I'm going to talk to him one more time, right? Well, let's just do the normal route. I'm just gonna say, hello, how's it going, right? I'm new in town, I just wanted to talk to you for a second, right? Where is he? Hello? Um, neighbor, it's uh, your neighbor, Bill Gregg. Should I ring the doorbell again? Hello? Where are you? Okay, that's suspicious sign number two. He's not even answering his door. Hey, I just wanted to bring you a pot. Uh, no? Okay. Oh, man, this has to be the hardest house I have ever had to sneak into. Like, I don't even know where he is right now. It just sounds like he's in the front of his house and that's the only way to enter. The only other way to would be like to break a window. Oh, there he is. He's drinking milk. I'm just staring in the window. What are you doing? You're chugging that thing. Dude, neighbor, calm down. You're gonna have more Oh, he just dropped it on the floor. What? Dude, pick up the milk. What are you doing, man? Oh, you're washing your hands. I guess that's good, but you dropped the milk on the floor. Dude, what are you doing? He's not, he doesn't see me at all. He's just oblivious. He's just gonna start doing his daily task in front of me. <laughs> oh man. All right, so I just snuck into the house. I think he's out in the street. This house looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so custom. Um, apparently it's 20 charm. I don't know what that is. The, oh, is he walking in? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How do I, hey buddy. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, yeah, it's, it's impossible to walk around in this house. I mean, he is an undercover cop. <laughs> I have to say now, I probably am pretty suspicious to him. Pretty suspicious. You know what though? As a private investigator myself, seeing a room like this boarded up and locked, it's pretty suspicious, I have to say. Pretty suspicious too. So we're gonna see if we can break in there. Those may be the files that went missing. You know, hey, I'm not in your house, crouching behind a drawer. Um, what is he? What is he doing? Oh, is he? He's not gonna walk through that door? All right, well, you know what? Let's see if I can find something. Let's just keep moving. Oh my gosh, this entire house is like custom. It is so good. <gasps> I got a key. I got a key. I got a key. I got a key. Okay, 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 okay. Um, um, let's hide. Let's hide. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm repeating everything twice. Jeez. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a private detective doing my own thing. Why is there... Okay, wait, I can remember that. That's a side to his house. Uh... What do we got in here? Do we got anything? We gotta find some more stuff. We gotta get the dirt on him. You know, if I can report to my superiors and be like, this guy is a corrupt cop, I'm getting a promotion. All right, why does he just have an apple in a drawer? <laughs> That's so weird. I'm gonna take a break to just jump on the bed a little bit. There we go. There we go. You gotta do that. You gotta do that. Wee. <laughs> oh my gosh, does he see me? He's like, what is that sound? No, he saw me. No, get away from me. Uh, oh, hey, neighbor, what are you, why are you running into the... The door. Why are you? Why are you in my house? Hmm. Touche. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. All right. You know what? I'm a big deal. I'm just gonna walk into the house and just pretend like I belong. Honey, I'm home. I'm walking into your house now. I feel like. Wow. Oh, this is like the easiest I've ever had to. Oh. Okay. Well, that was suspicious. I'm gonna walk upstairs. But there's so many cool things. Like you see that. Like, oh, 
What do I have to do here? That's a little suspicious that there's just like a rug there, but we got a gate and a door. Oh, and the key, and the key, and the key. Here we go, or the lock, I guess. Let's go in here. Oh my gosh, it seems like we're solving the puzzle super fast. Let's see if we can find another thing. Oh my gosh, I am a good private investigator. There's so many rooms in this house too. It's kind of weird. It didn't seem this big. All right, I just picked up a plant. I'm gonna call it Parsi the Plant. Parsi the Plant is gonna go on this journey with us. And Parsi has already told me that if we get caught, Parsi will take the place and get caught for me. What? Why would I get caught for you? I, I so they've already agreed. Yeah, shoo, shoo, shoo. They've already agreed. Parsi the Plant, um, you know, you're pretty cool. We just met. Oh my gosh, great. So we're gonna be walking forward. Oh, these mannequins are so cool. Oh my gosh, hold on, Parsi. I gotta see this for a second. Look at that. Everything is so shaky. It feels like the neighbor is always so close, but the neighbor has his own like face. Oh my gosh, I could put it in my pocket. This is so cool. Parsi, do you see this? Um, no, no, I'm, I'm a plant. You, you know that I'm a plant, right? But look, it's, it's the neighbor. He's a statue. <laughs> it's so cool. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's, let's put you in my pocket here. All right, I'm going to put you away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I can't breathe in here. Okay, fine. All right, so we have this. I just heard a gate opening. Oh my gosh. How is he not figuring out that I'm here? Dude, he's doing something else. Oh my gosh, he's right! I just said, I just said, how does he not figure it out? He was like, uh, you called? You know what? Parsi, why didn't you, why didn't you get caught for me? You know that was your whole job. It, you, you put me in your pocket. I don't even know how it was possible. I couldn't breathe, but, but you- Okay, you know, I don't want to hear the excuses, Parsi. But you know what? I like your company. I like your company. Let's go. Let's keep going. Oh. So we've reached a new area. Um, it seems pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna close the door behind me just in case, but let me see, is there any paintings that I can turn? I gotta make sure that none of these are switches as we go forward, but that is a different looking door. Do you see that? Oh, and it's locked. Oh, there's a chair. Okay, okay, it seems like we're gonna have to get through the ceiling. Okay, 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 okay. Which means we probably need to find a wrench. <laughs> Find the wrench. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. I've been looking around for like five minutes and I finally found a wrench. Please tell me this is real and not like a fake wrench. It's like, that's a weird thing to talk about. Is that real? Am I imagining it? Oh my gosh. It, it's a real wrench. Why am I so happy about this? That sounds so weird out of context. Just imagine somebody in the other room going, is that a real wrench? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. All right, let's see if we can just walk outside. I don't know if we can. I don't know where he is. I, I haven't even opened up all these crazy doors to his house. Um, oh my gosh, let's just, let's, oh, I hear him. I hear him. Oh, I'm not here. I'm, I'm, jeez, he's staring into my soul. All right, I know where to go. I'm gonna run here. I'm gonna run here. Oh, jeez. No, leave me alone, 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 leave me alone! No, 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 I'm, I'm here to repair! I'm here to repair this. You see that? I repaired it, I repaired it, and you see- Oh, I- I, I got caught? Anyway? What? Hi, I'm Bill Gregg, and you can see I am a handyman. I am a father of two, you know, and you see, I have this here wrench. I'm just here to fix the neighbor's house. I'm not doing any investigating. No, that's not me. I'm not gonna climb up this here ladder and try to figure out the secrets of his life. No, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? Oh, wow. Okay, so I think we have some stuff. Let's check in here first. Nothing, okay. Um, let's make sure there's no other secrets that I can find. Ooh, I do notice something. There is a cord that leads all the way over there. But I have to again say, look at how beautiful this mod is. Like, look at those light rays, the smoke emanating from the chimneys. Everything in this mod is just insane. It is just so pretty. There's so many people who worked on this. It is amazing. All right. I have to say though, if you're already in this point of the video, it's probably pretty far in. Make sure to subscribe, by the way, because, you know, if I land and don't break my legs, you got to subscribe. You know, that's just, let's see. Ah, ah. <laughs> Imagine if my leg, are my legs broke? No, my legs are kind of broken. I get, you can't subscribe. Please <laughs> imagine. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We are in the secret room that we normally couldn't get into. Let's just pick this. Up. I guess I have to drop my wrench and uh, hey, Parsi, are you proud of me? Look, I found the key and everything. Did you just put a chair in the ground? Um, 
Uh, yeah, it kind of looks... Okay, yep, you're right. I, I'm seeing it now. I'm magic... Oh, jeez, what is that? Chair? You better not give me away because you are... Oh, jeez, okay. What have I done? All right, Parsi, I'm gonna pick up this key. Tell me if you see uh, where this goes because I don't know where I'm going right now. We're about to find out the secrets of the neighbor, the things he's hiding, the bribes he took. He could have a bunch of money in there. Oh my gosh, it opened it. Uh... All we need is the crowbar. We're gonna find the crowbar and open the door and we're gonna keep on looking some more because I've walked around for like five minutes now and I can't find anything. I don't know if there's anything. <gasps> wait, 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 no, no, no way. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for so long. Uh, this was the apple room. There's, I thought there were rooms that like, oh, you know, they're kind of like, they distract you. This one I thought was one of them. You know, like a distracty room. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure there's no like, like secret turny thing. Do we just solve it? Are we about to find the secrets right now? Okay, well, you know what? The last step would be to actually not get caught. Hold on. Oh, what, what, what? Something pulled me back. Okay, that's kind of scary. Does the neighbor have secret powers? I hope not. We're about to open this up. Oh no, <gasps> I hear him, I hear him, I hear him, I hear him. We gotta do this fast. Come on, come on, come on. He's by the front door, no, no, stop! You see, he saw me, he was like, he's gonna figure out my secrets. He's gonna figure out my secrets and he caught me. But you know what, I feel like I fought him off. You know, I, you know, I ended up in my own house. I still have the crowbar in my hand. I don't know why I keep getting <laughs> taken back to my house. What if I'm just going crazy this entire time? He's like, Grandpa, here, go back to your house. There's nothing going on here. It's like a story twist the whole time. I'm like, I'm a detective, ah! It turns out I'm just a crazy old man. I'm just walking back into his house. I'm gonna open this door. Yep. <laughs> okay, but really though, We've just unlocked it. I don't see the neighbor. Oh my gosh. Um, it's kind of scary. We're kind of just walking into his basement, but you know what? Let's go. All right. So we've made it into the basement of the secret undercover cop named The Neighbor. You know what's weird? I don't think that's his name, but we call him The Neighbor. <laughs> We're like, we call him, he's The Neighbor. On his driver's license, it just says The Neighbor. But... I feel like there's so much more to discover. We're gonna find out so many secrets, but I think I'm gonna leave it here. I feel like this is a story that will continue, right? But thank you guys for watching. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed this whole thing. I tried to, you know, make it lighthearted and fun. Try to make you laugh along the way, you know? If you're ever feeling bad, you can look up Dak Blake. Um, we can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. But um, there's gonna be a lot of crazy videos this week. We're gonna do Henry Stickman. We're gonna do some more Hello Neighbor. We're gonna try out some other games, you know? Spice it up a little bit. But I'm excited to see you there. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Become part of the Dak Pack. So we're going to 800k. You gotta get in the under 800k club. But uh, nevertheless, I'll see you in those next videos. And as always, peace out, my dudes.